look this is where I am I wanted to show you guys I'm on a little mini weekend vacation and I just wanted to do a quick talk oh you can't see the ocean now I was hoping that would be behind me oh bummer you can't see it what if I do like this can you see it oh I have to be in the shadows should I do the talk in the shadows <laughs> anyway so I have this beautiful, beautiful ocean behind me this morning, and I'm very tired. I woke up with a sore throat, which happens sometimes, so I get to look at how... Good morning! Thank you for joining me. So I get to look at this morning, I get to look at where have I not let myself speak my truth, right? Because that's what happens when our throats shock, uh, shut down. So um, I, I get to look at that a little later today, but first I want to do this really quick video because I've been having a lot of clients lately coming in, having a lot of trouble understanding what it really means to love yourself. Because we all think that we love ourselves. We're like, yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm a good, good mortgage. <laughs> um, you know, I think I'm a great person. I think everything uh, I'm doing is going well. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with me until, of course, we sit down in those quiet times. Some of us can't even sit down in the quiet times, and that's really what I'm starting to notice. Good morning. Um, that some of us really can't sit down in that quiet time even with ourselves. And so that, I'm going to give a couple of, of examples of things that I've noticed, little stories of times when people really struggle with knowing... Um, that it's okay to be loving and kind to themselves. Good morning! I'm so glad you're with me this morning. I'm doing it early enough for you to be here, huh? So, here's a quick example. I wrote a blog about this last night, so this video is going to go in the blog, and I'm going to give a couple more examples. But here's a personal example. So, yesterday it was really hot outside. And I was like, man, it is so hot. I am so hot. I am sweating. Like, I just couldn't stop complaining. It was like, it was like... I think I died and went to hell hot. And um, the person that I was with was like, you complain too much. And because I've been doing this work for so long and I do this work with other people, I heard that like critical inner parent who was trying to shut down my feelings. And I was thinking to myself, okay, I understand nobody wants anybody to complain, but how often do we do that to ourselves? You know, we're having a thought, maybe we feel hot, I mean, it could be as simple as that. I feel super hot, and um, I don't want to feel hot, so I'm complaining about being hot. And then maybe you tell yourself or somebody else tells you, stop complaining, stop feeling like that, stop doing that. <clears throat> How often do you do that to yourself? This is what we're talking about, right, with self-love. And so I said, you know, ow, that hurts my feelings. Like, I really am hot. I'm sorry that I'm complaining and bothering you. But when I complained and bothered the other person, can you see how that's the other person not willing to sit in their own suffering and pain? And I said, I know it's, I know it's hot. You're probably hot too. I said, but when you tell me stop complaining, what I hear you saying is stop feeling your feelings. And then luck luckily, the person that I was with has done enough personal work that was like, okay, you're right. It's really freaking hot. I'm super hot. You're super hot. We're all really hot. <laughs> this really sucks. It feels like hell out here. And could you please stop complaining? And I was like, man, that is such a better way of asking me to stop complaining. Can you see how it's really loving? There's so many people on. I want you guys to see what's behind me. Oh, see the ocean? It's right there. So pretty. I wanted to share that really quick. So that's what happens, right? We don't know how to even tell that inner voice inside of us that's telling us, stop complaining. We don't know how to tell that inner voice, hey, ow, that hurts my feelings. I'm having feelings. Am I not allowed to have feelings right now? I'm actually really freaking hot. And so there's another piece to this, which is, you know, not getting attached to being hot um, and not being attached to being miserable. So I sat back in that moment and I watched myself being hot and I thought, yeah, this really stinks. Like, we hate suffering as human beings. We're going to do everything that we possibly can to get away from suffering. So that's why we do this. That's why we tell ourselves, stop feeling. Stop doing that. You should be happy. You should be good. I can do this. We tell ourselves all kinds of things. So here's another example. I had a whole bunch of clients this week. I'm going to kind of merge them all into one story, not so I don't break anybody's confidentiality. But the idea is <clears throat> that... Here we are with the inner child, and the inner child, yes, right, isn't it so beautiful back there? 
So the inner child, um, you know, the, the adult self and the inner child, we're doing like a hypnosis session. The adult self and the inner child are together and we're showing up for the inner child and the inner child is maybe, um, okay, so most of us are inner child. We weren't allowed to talk or speak or express ourselves. So we're sitting there with the inner child and um, I'll have the client say something like, I'm here, I'm here with you, I'm here for you. And then I kind of let them take over and, and I tell them, like, now validate the inner child. Now sometimes what happens is, many, many clients actually will say something like, um, you don't have to feel like this. You don't have to feel um, sad or uh, you, you shouldn't feel so lonely. And, and then I have to sort of be like, okay, let me talk to the adult right now. Is the child lonely? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, is the child sad? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, when we tell them don't feel sad and don't feel lonely, we're actually really invalidating how they feel. So why don't we try just sitting with the child and saying, are you okay? What are you feeling? What do you need? And let the inner child talk. Because many of us, maybe that's why I have a sore throat today. Uh oh, I get a phone call. Maybe that's why um, I have a little sore throat today, right? Because my inner child doesn't get to talk sometimes. You know, I shut her down. So of course that's why I do the work that I do. So there's a great indication, right? If, you're, if your throat is sore or you have any kind of body pain, you can look at your body pain and your body pain will actually tell you where you're shutting yourself down. How cool is that? So then the work is to sit with the pain. I know you don't want to sit with the pain. I know it totally stinks to sit with the pain. I did a meditation retreat all day on Saturday with Mike. It was so nice. And basically for, you know, five, six hours, we sat with ourselves. And I remember when I first started sitting with myself, I was like, this is the most uncomfortable thing I've ever done in my life. But that's the whole idea is to sit with your discomfort. When you don't sit with your discomfort, you end up overspending, you end up acting out sexually, you end up, uh, you know, with addictions or um, in front of the television, you know, it's just sucked into that thing, just avoiding connection. When you slow down, it was so beautiful to slow down this meditation retreat so slowly that I actually was walking so slowly. I walked right up to a tree and there was a lizard right in front of me and his skin was peeling right in front of me. And I was like, oh my God, when we move so fast, we miss the beautiful wonders and the miracles of life, just like this one, <laughs> right? We gotta, just look at that. How beautiful is that? Can you see those waves back there? Just gotta slow down and take a little bit of time to enjoy life and um, allow ourselves to even feel those sensitive, yucky, uh, sabotaging, shameful, nasty feelings. It's important to sit with those with love and compassion and kindness. So that's all I got for you guys this morning. Thank you for joining me here at the beach. So beautiful. I wanted to share that with you. I hope you guys, um, some people have today off. I hope that you make the most of it. Slow down, take some time, be with yourself. Um, the blog will be coming probably by tomorrow morning. So if you want to read the blog, you know, do that. Share this video. I love you guys. Thanks for being here with me. Maybe I have to get up early and do this more often because so many of you guys are um, joining me earlier in the morning. All right. I hope you guys all have a fantastic, wonderful, beautiful day. And I'll be thinking of you. And take care of yourselves, love yourselves, and love everybody around you. Bye.